Hello everyone and welcome to the Adoran region. I am your host Adoran himself back with another Ace Attorney episode. That's right, we are back with this series. Uh, we are about to begin episode 5, the extra episode in the main Ace Attorney game. So normally Ace Attorney games will have four different cases that usually connect with each other and some of them will have either a DLC or like a fifth extra case that was offered. Uh, this is that fifth extra case for the original Ace Attorney game. First off, as always, if you want to check out the entire playlist of the Ace Attorney series, you can check it out in the description below. While you're down there, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those fun things that you ought to do when supporting a YouTube channel. Now, without further ado, Rise from the Ashes, the day one investigation, uh, I think in testing I had just started it and then immediately closed it again, so let us start the chapter. Rise from the Ashes. It's been two months since Maya left the office. By the way, Maya's left the office. Also, apologies if the audio is a bit weird. Uh, just where I'm recording currently. Two months without a single trial. Turns out Maya was kind of the key to the entire, like, business. What an L. I've had offers, but none I took. Oh, never mind. It's me. That is, until the day that girl shows up. Showed up. I wonder who this could be. I actually don't know yet. February 22nd, 10.02 a.m., right in co-law offices. This is not the right voice that I normally do. You can tell it's been a while since I last recorded one of these. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are, finally. Ooh, I know who this is. Um, I need to make a character voice for you. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Hello. Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fe You think I'm Mia? Excuse me. I don't mean to disrupt things, but you know Mia's picture is like everywhere, right? Oh, um, you're not Mia Fey, are you? Uh, y yeah, sorry about that. I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? Dang. What a fall from grace this has been for, uh, Phoenix Wright, jeez. I I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're THE Phoenix Wright? Please tell me this is gonna end up in a compliment. The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Okay, so far so good. Uh, yes, that's correct. I mean, it wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, he was accused of doing the murder- y Yeah, yes. Yes. That's a relief then. You're better than nobody. Uh, I guess. I, I I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright. Right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I appreciate it. Dap up. Call it a weekend. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please? I'm out of time. But... Please, you have to help. It's... It's my sister. Dang, flashbacks are gonna get me, aren't they? Maya, could it be a repeat of the exact same case? Okay, I'll hear you out. R really? Th thank you so much. M my name's Emma, Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator, what would that entail per se? Ooh, we get the click buttons now. All right, 
as always, we gotta check up on our on our boy here. He has plant Charlie. Been taking care of him in Maya's absence. Ah, oh, that's it. No other updates. Um. I mean, we're not gonna be able to move anywhere, are we? Yeah, it's not useful right now. Let's have a talk. All right, Emma. Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just seem kind of a jumpy, or maybe just young. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, wait. Only 16? An investigator? There's got to be some like child labor laws about this. Or something. I'm set to be formally assigned to forensic in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known, at my age no less. Uh, so what exactly is your current position then? Well, legally sp- oh boy. It is child labor laws. I guess you called me an 11th grader. Oh boy. But I'm ready to do my job, at my age no less. Great, another future professional in training. I swear I've been dealing with this forever. Alright, let's talk about the case then. So, what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? This is gonna be a real... doozy. My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. Okay. That's a good sign. Uh... So it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. And there's a witness. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. Okay. And there's a witness. Thank you, Phoenix. I, I'm glad Phoenix and I both understand the situation at hand is not exactly ideal. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right, I suppose I will? I promised her I'd bring me a fae, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? And also, how would she know... Like, Mia's been... Spoiler alert for the entire series so far. Mia's been dead for like a couple of months. At minimum, right? I don't remember the exact timeline of the original four games, but even if they happened immediately after each other, there was the two-month gap that Phoenix was talking about earlier. I feel like everyone would know by that point, you know, famous lawyer passes away due to being killed, and then the apprentice takes over and does a decent job. You know, the, the, that's all, the whole, like, second case, I feel like, would have gone somewhere. So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then? I excuse me. I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have gold, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigation should be done scientifically. Don't you? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I can't falter for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be clear. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. Great. Um, I've only just now noticed that she's got a, like a, a pin, oh, sorry, a pin or something. It just looks like a gasping face. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. Hasn't the scientific method been consistent for hundreds of years? I'll show you when I'm done. I, I look, I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should, uh, get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. Okay, but, like, this Mia thing, though? My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person was a few years below her in high school. In, in, in school, I guess high school. Huh? So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And, well, I need one. Uh, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Judging by the music change, uh, maybe not. Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I kinda hate her. Uh huh? But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well... I'm gonna do this, because why not? Look at this. See this? It's my attorney's badge. Ah, well. I've never seen a real one before. The first one who's actually been interested in mine, oh my gosh. 
Its composition is mostly silver. The gold plating is flaking a little bit. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. He analyzed it. Scientifically. It doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfide. I'd give you $50 for it. I'm not selling this. I'm sorry, but it's not for sale yet. Phoenix is down on his luck so badly that he's got to sell his, uh, sell his job, basically. Alright, detention center we go. February 22nd, detention center, visitor's room. Hmm. <laughs> wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. So, so, so sorry, ma'am, it's, it's just your sister. No excuses. Did you do not want to raise this year, hmm? I'm getting weird Edgeworth flashbacks. Uh, understood, ma'am. What, 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 was, what was that all about? Uh, hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? Look, I, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow, and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Oh, you just turned around. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, uh, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. Lana, maybe. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. That's why I got Edgeworth vibes, because this is literally a higher-powered Edgeworth. Y you're a prosecutor? Two sisters. One a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Because this, this is literally my first case, again, except one was a spiritualist and one was a, a, a scientist. And I guess one is defense and one is prosecutor. Same concept, though. Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like, you know, the the implication, despite the fact that you would have had to play the game in order to get to this point, they're still, like, in together, I guess. Is, is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Um, nope, nothing, nothing's wrong, let's just have a conversation here. Let's talk about this case. There's something you should know from the start, which is... The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Wait, that's you, isn't it? Huh? Wait, but the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well? Why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15pm. It's quite specific. specific. It was in the witness's deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Um, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? Your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot. Caught red-handed, as it were. Oh, that's just great. Alright, we got you, so who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. Oh, please don't be Gumshoe. Gumshoe is the only thing that's leaving me, like, continuing with these games. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you. Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I noticed you didn't answer my question, though. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? But Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to find me guilty. To have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. Alright, this case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Seems par for the course. Uh, what about you? So, you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. 
I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled, handled by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's a, an awfully hot coffee pot. I'm just gonna leave that there for people that get the joke. Uh, that's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Ed. I've been dealing with a lot. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Remember, I stabbed him. Did I mention that? Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Again, this is giving me vague Edgeworth vibes. Not necessarily in the sense that this case is similar, but like, Edgeworth said he was guilty and I still found him innocent. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like that. Not gonna lie. Alright, time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia. What should she Let's talk about Mia, then. Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that, too, did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Well, it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Oh, come on. He was in law school. I was in my third year. She was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different. She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Uh, excuse me? Intellectually attracted. Lana was top of her school and uh, top of her school in school. There you go. Top of her class and that was the best there was. Uh huh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. Sounds a bit different when Emma says it, honestly. Well, Mr. Wright? Excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it is safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But, but, but Lana. Why, why? Why are you doing this to me? Ooh, new music, I think. I don't recall this song, at least. You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, so how can you say you did it? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I hate you, Lana. You gonna run away? Mr. Wright? Yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Hmm. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here, and I'm going to find out what. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess we just flash forward him into my place. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. Look, man, a couple months. She, she's changed a lot. She, she used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everyone liked her. I see. Sorry, I'm having trouble imagining that. Then again, I remember old Edgeworth. Uh, what what happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Alright, let's go check out this underground parking at the uh, prosecutor's office, out, shall we? Uh, okay. Um, we'll leave it there. The introduction to this episode... The episode, I guess, not this actual episode, like, part-wise, but the episode isn't, like, case-wise. Uh, intro! Woo! We're defending somebody that's already confessed to a crime. How do we do this? Well, we prove that they're lying about lying. About lying? I guess? That's basically gonna be it, everyone. Thank you very much for listening and watching and supporting the Adrian Reach in any way, shape, or form that you do. And until next time, take care. <laughs>